Hey, what is going on YouTube? Mike here. And so yesterday, Google finally launched the latest version of his mobile operating system, which is Android 11. And we do have it up and running here on the Pixel 3a. So there is a lot of new stuff to be found in this software update. But for today, let's take a quick look at some of my new favorite additions that Google has made to Android. All right, so before we get things started, I just want to say that we are currently on the road to a thousand subs. So if you enjoyed this video or if you enjoyed any of the other videos on my channel, then your support will go a long way towards our goal. All right, so to start things off, we do have this simple but cool animation that you get with the home screen wallpaper. If you notice, it kind of zooms in and out if you're heading into the recent apps menu or pulling up your app list. And I find that it's a nice little touch to the UI. It's simple, but adds a bit of flair to the way that things look in your home screen. So up next, we do have integrated screen recording on Android 11. The feature can be accessed in the drop down settings grid and a simple tap brings up the screen recording menu. Similar to a lot of third party apps that can also record audio from your microphone or directly from your device such as media and music. I really love this feature as it means that I won't have to install any more third party apps, which are just filled with ads for the most part. All right, so here is screen recording on Android 11 on the Pixel 3a. And of course, this is using the phone's microphone. This is how it sounds like. I just want to show you guys how it sounds like if I am speaking to the microphone while doing a screen recording. Now, the room I'm in currently doesn't have the greatest acoustics or the best acoustics. But yeah, so this is what it sounds like, what it's going to look and sound like if you're screen recording with the phone's microphone. Android 11 also adds some features to the recent apps, aka the overview screen, and this is accessible when using full screen gestures. Now accessing the overview screen brings up options to take a screenshot of whatever app that you have highlighted, as well as the ability to highlight and copy text from whichever screen is currently displayed. I have to say that this will definitely come in handy for a lot of productivity purposes. Now if you're playing media on your phone, Android 11 has introduced a faster way to switch between which devices you want to play your media through. So for example, if I'm playing something on Spotify and I want to listen to my music on a different speaker or earbuds, I can easily do so by swiping and tapping on the quick settings menu and choosing which Bluetooth device I want to play my music through. I find this pretty convenient and it's definitely a welcome feature. Alright, so moving on, Android 11 has also added a notification history feature, which lets you view any notifications that you might have missed or accidentally swiped away. Now this feature can be easily accessed from the drop down settings menu. Of course, this feature is entirely optional and you can choose if you want to keep it on or off. Now, as much as I love the new update, not everything has worked out for me. For example, I haven't had any luck getting the chat bubble feature to work. And despite having my settings turned on for this specific feature, it just won't work on my Pixel 3a. Now maybe this is just a problem with my software, but we'll have to wait and see if any fixes are released for this. One of the things I love the most about my Pixel 3a is the fact that it has pretty good battery life. I get around 6-7 to seven hours of screen on time on a single charge, but with the Android 11 update, I've been getting the impression that my battery is able to last a bit longer. I've been getting maybe an extra half hour screen use, and while I'm not sure that this is due to the update itself, I've been real happy either way. Alright, so this pretty much does it for a quick first impressions of Android 11 on the Pixel 3a. Of course, there's more changes that Google has introduced underneath, so I will continue to play around with the 3a to try those out. As always, I do appreciate you guys for stopping by the channel, and once again, thanks for watching.